Hello everybody, welcome back to my Mass Effect 2 playthrough. So last time in the series, anyways, I finished up Morden's loyalty mission. So I'm done on Tsuchanka now, which means I probably won't see Urz for a while. Sad face. Urz is the greatest. So, so I return to Normandy, as you can see. I'm gonna go around and talk to the people I've done the loyalty missions for. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Bram. Ooh. Having consulted with my colleagues at the Citadel, I have the privilege to request for your assistance to transfer a large quantity of Prothean technology uncovered at items. Leaving these materials to be a hazardous danger, they were locked in quarantine. <coughs> Even though the test revealed that the fears were groundless, quarantine remains in effect. No one can pay for a firm man. Um, <clears throat> hmm. I do not think so. I hate these things, but you need to hear this. You're part of Grunt's Krant, and you're his leader. So keep him alive! Here, I have to stay polite. Play the role. But our people are dying. Krogan have always valued survival over tradition. If we're going to survive as a people, we need your back, Grunt Grunt. Okir was a madman, but he was a madman with a plan. And that more than most have, that's more than most have on this ball rock. So bring him back from your dang mission. My people need him. And if you all get killed, I'll pee on your graves. <laughs> How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? You have nothing to Not say about anyone's loyalty yes. missions, do you? Anyways, I wouldn't make it. I also like to make a side note. We are on episode 60 of the series. I don't recall how Commander. How many episodes there were in the first Mass Effect. I'll get back now. to you. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I, I think I made don't think point. we That's I don't I want to say we didn't quite Commander. make it to 60. We're at 60. So, woo. Celebration. Hmm. If we reach a hundred, which is possible we might, I want to do something, um, excuse me, special or something. I don't know. Still hard to believe betrayed me, betrayed my work, disgusted by his actions. Proud of his nerve, though. Almost thought he lacked backbone. Hope he finds something new, better goal, better purpose, fewer torture tests. You're really at peace with what happened? Yes, of course. Can't change what happened. Life continues. Back to mission, back to work. Become like Malin otherwise. Solarian emotional processing faster than other species. Has to be. Short-lived culture can't spend Makes time sense. reminiscing. So you really don't feel bad at all about what happened on Tachanka? Yes, correct. Now at least. Greatly distressed at the time. Stages of grief, loss, anger, rationalization. Dealt with it. Most issues settled on Tachanka, some on shuttle back to Normandy. Malin didn't seem like he processed his emotional response. He was obsessed with the genophage. True. Didn't mean to imply that Salarians were healthier emotionally. Can still make wrong choices. Bad decisions from grief, anger, guilt. Malin couldn't accept feelings. Made decision. Executed. Probably before I left for Omega. We should there see. are some times Solarians where an emotionally charged decision isn't the wrong one. Marriage can't sustain courtship emotions. Or perhaps based on reproduction. Unsure. What about Malin's data on the genophage? His attempts at a cure? What about it? Have it over there somewhere. Not dealing with it now. Need to focus on collectors. Not important now, regardless. Appreciate you helping me back on Tujanka. Should get back to work. Wasted enough time already. Lots to do. Talk later. Alright. Okay, I haven't done Jacob's mission yet. So I can't talk to him. Let's see. I have done... Garrus's and Thanes. Or 
do 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 have a few minutes to talk. Very well. I am. I had been recording a message for Kolyat. How are things going with him? It is difficult. All things worth keeping are. I never explained. Mm -hmm. I suppose the story of my wife's death took you by surprise. I figured you'd explain to me when you were ready. I appreciate your patience. I kept my work clear of our home life. I assumed that would be enough to protect Erika. That memory I mentioned before. Makes a cut trembles on the target's skull. The smell of spice on the spring wind. Its eyes defiant in the scope. That was Erica. That was how I met her. She saw my targeting laser as she walked by and threw herself in the way. So how did she go from blocking your shot to having your children? I had to meet her. The memory possessed and endowed me. I fell on my knees before her, begged her pardon. She introduced me to the world beyond my work. Eventually, she forgave me. Later, she loved me. I guess she impressed you. She woke me up. Her body trembles, not fear. Indignation. Her mouth moves. How dare you? You and I train to sacrifice ourselves to save others. How often does a civilian step in the way of a bullet to protect someone they've never met? I thought she was the goddess Hirashu. She met my eyes through the scope, and my purpose faltered. When you talked to Cole yet, you said she died. I let myself become complacent. I thought Erika and Kolyat were safe. I stayed away too long, and my enemies came for her. Who came for her? Latarians, a slaver ring that was preying on Hanar out her colonies. I'd killed their leaders. They paid the shadow <clears throat> reward to find out who I was. But they were afraid of me, so they went after her. You told Kolyat that you hunted her killers down. <coughs> When she passed, I returned to my battle sleep. My body hunted her killers, murdered them. I was taught to grant death quickly, cleanly, to minimize suffering. Them. I let them linger. You were operating on instinct. By your own rules, you can't blame yourself. But I made the choice to hunt them. They're the only lives I've never taken of my own choice. The only deaths on my own conscience. I haven't spoken about my wife in... I don't think I ever have. I didn't have anyone left to tell it to. Thane, the worst thing is to face death with regrets. You're part of my crew, and I consider you a friend. If there's anything I can help you with, just ask. I've never been part of a team. Assassins tend to be solitary. I'm learning the virtues of facing death with others at your side. It's a work in progress. Oh, I like that conversation. I really like it, it it flows better to me with male Shep. Because you can tell with Finn Shep that he likes her. So if you're not romancing him, then it kinda flow the flows a little with you. But definitely flows better with Bro Shep or if you were to be romancing him. I've never done his romance. I should check that out next time I play as Fim Shepard. But, um, yeah. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? Really? Of some calibrations. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here mm. if you need me. Garrus, why are you always in calibrations? I don't really get one. Maybe two conversations with you after your loyalty mission, even when I'm romancing you. Why? Just talk to Shepard, man. You're supposed to be best friends. Alright. Down to talk to Tally and Grunt. There's gotta be more with Tally, right? I 
me. I started the romance with her. Gotta be more. Oops. Hello, Grunt. I'm not Grunt. I like it. I have a clan. That makes me. It makes me want to fight, not just able to. At Uvink, I wanted to disembowel him, to tear out his spine like a trophy. Can you focus that on our real enemy? Or do I have to lock you up for the ship's safety? I get it now. It's part of what I am. It was just delayed because of being tank bred. Now that I know it's not an outside thing, and I have a place oh. as a Krogan. I forget to. Our enemies are in trouble, Shepard. Okay. And we'd better not run out of targets. I'm not planning on living like this forever, Grunt. Talk like that, and it won't be your choice. I'm sure as hell not quitting with a whimper. Just so you're clear where we stand. Hi, get up. I'm not going out with a whimper either. You guys have anything to say? Or go over to Tally? No. Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? Yes, I'd like that. Do, do, do. I've been mm -hmm. thinking about the last time we talked. I'm sorry. I was unprofessional Don't and be I was sorry. I was being stupid and selfish. You've never been selfish. If anything, you spent too much time thinking of the fleet and not enough thinking be of yourself. Sorry, Tally. That might be true for humans, but Quarians are different. We can't just We have to think of other people always. If we don't think about the needs of the whole crew, people could get hurt. Maybe even killed. You deserve to be happy with someone. I can't do that. No matter how much I... I could get sick. Jeopardize the mission. And if you weren't jeopardizing anything? If it were just me? You risked your own life to save the colonists on Pharos two years ago. Nobody else could have saved them. I watched your face as Chief Williams died on Vermeer. I watched you stand strong against everything the galaxy threw at you. I've watched you for so long, and I never imagined you'd ever see past this. Are you saying you could die if we were together? It's always a risk. Maybe the reaction would be minor. Maybe it would put me down for a few weeks, or maybe it would kill me. But that's not what I'm concerned about, Shepard. I don't want you distracted. I don't want what I want to hurt this mission. It's too important. Tally, if you're Tally. scared, I don't blame you. But I don't want anyone else. I want you. And I'll do whatever I have to to make this work. I... I, I wouldn't blame you if... but... Oh, thank you. You don't know what that... Thank you. Give me a little time. I'll do some research. Figure out how to make this work. What can you do? Can I help? There are a few ways to temporarily improve my immune system. Immunoboosters, antibiotic injections, that kind of thing. I'll spare you the details. But trust me, I've got plenty of motivation to figure something out. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. They're immediately diving into that. Thinking about that. Figuring out how to do that. I mean, I know that's part of the romance in this game. But come on, guys. You know, when you might die. It can't be that uncommon for a Quarian to have a relationship with another race. Sure, but in most cases, everything is happening outside the suit. Nerve stimulation programs and such. I don't want that. If I'm going to be with you, I want it to be real. I need to feel your skin on mine. 
I have never shown my face to anyone. But I'm ready to show you, if I can do it without dying. Uh. Whenever you figured it out, I'll be here for you. I'll let you know, I promise. Until then, I should, you know, do something. Repairs for the mission. I mean, I guess it makes sense. If they know they're not going to do it, they should start planning ahead of time because we have a new system. I get it. Don't get me wrong. I get that. And I get that they're about, they might die, that they think they're, they might probably won't come back from this mission. Gee, that seems so fast. Regardless. So fast. Anyways, who is the loyalty mission I like? Hmm. There's Miranda. There's Zaid, Jacob, Jack, and Samara. I'll do Samara. That does a way to a Omega. Dark. Quick. Skip. Take Samara with me. I kind of want to know what Tally says about it. If she says anything. Boop. Yakshi's location. However, given the reputation of Ardot Yakshi among the Asari, Arya Talok may have tracked her movements. Thank you. Who are I go. Some of this reminds me of life on the flotilla. Cramped and crowded with no real privacy. And the people don't work together toward a common goal. There's no sense of family here. Just fear. Come on, let me in. Ari's expecting me. Do do I really hate this place. It's not the pitos. Hello, Into. That's the plan. What do you need? An Asari fugitive is hiding out here. She's an Ardite Yaksha. We need to find her. I knew it. Nothing leaves a body quite so empty as an Ardot Yaksha does. You haven't taken steps to kill her. Why would I? She hasn't tried to seduce me. Her last victim was a young girl. Pretty thing. Lived in the tenements near here. That's where I started looking. Thanks All right. Me. Good luck finding her. Better luck catching her. Oh, don't worry. Samara has a plan for that. Nothing to see here. Wrong button. <laughs> I hate Omega. I hate missions on Omega. 50% of reasons why is afterlife. Didn't I talk to you before? Please tell me you have something for me. I'll have to come back later. Of course. You know where. Oh yeah. I distinctly remember telling you off though. I could have sworn I told you off in this place. End. End 
think yes. Are you here about my daughter? My nephew died a week ago and no one seems to care. The medic said it was a brain hemorrhage, but that's not true. It was murder. Someone killed my nephew, my baby. I think she was murdered too, and I'm looking for her killer. Oh, thank you. It's so hard when no one believes you. I'm all alone now. Are you one of Aria's people? I'm here to help. Does it matter who sent me? No one else on this hellhole station gives a damn that my nephew is dead. If you can do something about it, I'll help you however I can. Did your daughter have a lot of friends? Not a lot, no. She was shy. Spent most of her time off making her sculptures, not hanging out with friends. Something did change in the last few weeks, though. She started talking about an Asari. Morinth. I see. I didn't like her. She kept dragging Neff out to clubs, and I'm pretty sure she gave my daughter drugs. What kind of a person was this Morinth? I never met her. But Neff talked about her like she was a queen. You'd swear there was no one else alive when she talked about Morinth. That sounds familiar. Samara, does Morinth control her victims with drugs? She controls them through sheer will. The drugs are just a lifestyle. She loves the club, loves the base. She's a hedonist. So this Morinth did hurt my daughter? Is she the one that... that... I will bring justice to the one that did this. We swear to you, Neff will rest easy soon. I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> my baby. Did Neff hang out anywhere in particular? She was always quiet working here at home. Then, a few weeks ago, she started going out all the time to the VIP area of that club down the street. I think you need a password or something to get in there. The change was so sudden. She just seemed tired and distracted when she wasn't around Morinth. What kind of a girl was your daughter? My nephew had a fire inside her. She was shy, but she was creative and driven and the best girl a mother could hope for. She was creative? How so? She was a sculptor. Several galleries were interested in her. Said her work was fresh. Do you mind if I examine Neff's room? I didn't want to disturb anything. The clothes, her art, her sculptures, everything is the way she left it. The way it will always be. <laughs> My baby is gone. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry, I just miss her so much. It's okay. We've all suffered loss. I know what it means to lose a daughter. I will avenge her. Thank you. Please, if it helps you find her killer, look through her things. We will be respectful. I'll examine her things. Alright. Time to check the place. Neff, I'm sending you this hologram by the Elcor artist Forta. His work is sublime, but don't stare at it too long or you may go mad. I don't want anything bad to happen to you, love. I can't wait to hear what you think of Forta. Mm. Read the oldest entry. Hey, diary. Cycle 34, orbit 671. There's a lot to talk about. I dropped your root's name, and they let me into the VIP room at Afterlife. I was sure everyone was staring at me. Then the most beautiful Asari starts dancing near me. She moves like water, form and volume, but shifting, changing. I'm in a trance. Then I'm dancing with her. Later, we went for Skewers, and I'm supposed to see her again tomorrow. Read the middle entry. Cycle 36, orbit 671.
Read the newest entry. Cycle 42, orbit 67. She's going to take me to her apartment tonight. Whatever happens, I want to be with her forever. She can sell my pieces. We can live somewhere glamorous, like the women in Vienna that Vic Morinth likes. How did this happen to me? I'm just dumb trash from Omega. Close the hollow journal. This is Morinth's work. She's attracted to artists and creators. Someone with a spark slightly isolated from their peers. She impresses with sophistication and sex appeal. Then she strikes. The hunt interests her as much as the conquest. Anyone who's successfully hunted sapient beings for 400 years warrants caution. Morin speaks to you on many levels. Her body tells yours that she'll bring unimaginable ecstasy. Her scent evokes emotions long hidden. Her eyes promise you things you were always scared to ask of another. Her voice whispers to you after she is done speaking. She sounds more like a highly evolved killer than a genetic defective. The condition has been present since my people huddled around fires at night. Perhaps it is symbiotic rather than a defect. Storming her den would be a mistake. She will have a hundred escape routes planned. She will go to ground and disappear for 50 years or more. This is the closest I've ever been. So we have to lure her out. Exactly. Shepard, you read my mind. Afterlife's VIP section seems her preferred hunting ground. You must go there alone and unarmed. She'll come after me. You can draw Morinth out. She'll certainly flee if she catches sight of me, but she won't be able to resist you. You are an artist on the battlefield. You have the vital spark that attracts her. Your power will draw her in. I'm walking into this place with no gun and no backup? I will be in the shadows watching, Shepard. You will never be alone. This I swear. But you cannot barge in with guns and allies. Morinth is far too cagey. She'd simply disappear. This is a subtle, delicate act. Trust me. Time's wasting. Let's get over there. So Tilly doesn't say anything about this. Once we're there. She doesn't say anything about this plan. Alright. I'm surprised by that. Maybe she'll say something later. Anyways, I'm going to call this an episode. In the meantime, thank you guys all so much for watching. Like and subscribe down below if you want to see more. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And as always, keep it real and spread the love. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.